Come on, boy. Let's see you dance. <laughs> Come on, boy. Let's see you dance. <laughs> Thank you.
on, boy. Let's see you dance. <laughs> Everybody, how's it going? How's it going today? It's me, your friend, LTB. You know, your friend, uh, little thoroughbred boy. <laughs> welcome, welcome to a uh, horse space for my tribe. How's everybody doing today? <laughs> It's so good to see all my friends here. Oh, I love this song. Clop, clop. Oh, how is everybody? I see all the regulars that I know. I know everybody here. I see Alexis and Monica and, and uh, the Bo GG Bone Crusher. Oh, hey everybody. Happy Thursday. Um, it's me, little little thoroughbred boy. Um, you know, just here to hang out with you. As usual. Just like we do every Thursday, right? <laughs> uh, do horses give blasters? What's a blaster? I have no idea what a blaster is. I could try. Uh, I mean, I am just a little horse. Let me try. Uh, <laughs> oh. Was that a blaster? Was that a blaster? Oh. It's so nice to be here. Um, welcome to Horse Space for my tribe. If this is your first time here, I'm Little Thoroughbred Boy. And I just, I hang out here with my friends uh, every Thursday. And we talk and we watch videos and uh, we just have fun. Was anybody blessed by that blast? Matt says, I need some horse shit for my Ormus smoothie. What the hell is that? <clears throat> oh. song. I think it's so fun. I'm gonna start it over. I really... Uh... <laughs> what is... Uh... Wow. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of uh, aggressive comments here in the stable. Jez is saying fuck this and fuck you. That's just mean. Oh, we got some horse girls here today. That's nice. Uh, I'm a horse. <laughs> so you guys want to hang out, or uh, what do you want to do? You know, I got some, uh, I got some, hey, I'm cool. If you guys don't think I'm cool, let me, uh, let me show you something. I am, I am cool. Watch this. See? I can travel? Yes, that was Horse Music by L. Ron Hubbard. Uh, so welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm a little thoroughbred boy. And, uh, Jesus Christ, Joe Simpson wants to turn me into glue. This is horrible. Look at me, look at me though. Aren't I cool? Don't you think I'm cool? You know, if you've got a problem, if you've got a problem with me being a horse, I don't know what to say to you. I just don't even know what to say. Oh. Yeah, you can you ride, ride me, I'm a horse. horse. Of course you can ride me. a 
good singer. I'm a great singer. Oh, everybody. Okay, some people are being nice. They think I'm fabulous. Oh, God. Yeah, my hair has been braided by Bigfoot, actually. Seth, I don't know what that means. You want me to apologize? I don't know what you're talking about, little blue boy. I'm the little boy. I'm little thoroughbred boy. I'm the only little, little boy here. I'm the only little boy here. No, I've never sparked bark. I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? Look at this video. Isn't this cool? This is what it looks like inside my body. I'm a little pony. Is that loud? I'm sorry. What little blue boy are you even talking about? Look at this shit. Wow. See, I don't understand all the hate. I'm getting a lot of hate here in the comments, okay? A lot of mean comments. I don't know what the deal is. I'm just your friend, little thoroughbred boy. <laughs> I'm just a little horse. This has always been a stream with me, the little horse. I just... I just show cool videos and hang out with you guys, and... My favorite movie is... Echoes? Echoes? I don't know how to say it. Uh, and yes, I am Dutch. I'm a Dutch little horse, man. Isn't it, my friends? Oh, God. Oh, man. Well, welcome to, uh, Horse Space for My Tribe, everybody. We come here every week. Holly, I'm glad that you spent your lunch break watching this as well. Did you know that horses have beautiful voices? <laughs> Well, um, do you guys want to, uh, uh, <laughs> I wanted to go over uh, some, some news with you guys today, is that okay? This may be, uh, I mean, this news is a little old, actually, but I did, I did want to talk about it. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Ghostbusters franchise. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the Ghost Slimer. I think he's cute, and I kind of want to kiss Slimer, so I thought we could talk about Muncher. Muncher is uh, a new ghost from the new Ghostbusters, and I would uh, like to talk about it, so let's take a look here. 
Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Slimer has a nice ass. Hey, I just want to say, Slimer has a dump truck ass, and uh, Slimer can get it. Hey, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com, and as always, Ghostbusters News. And also, I urge you to sign up over at GhostbustersNews.com. Right here on YouTube. And let me kick off this video with giving you a bit of a history lesson. When the first trailer to Ghostbusters Afterlife was released in 2019, a quick appearance by a then unknown blue ghost okay. caught fans a little off guard. I mean, the ghosts looked big, they looked round. A lot of fans assumed That's that, well, Slimer. it was a new version of Slimer. Speed ahead to 2020 and some action figure. Okay, we get an action figure here with Muncher on it. This is Muncher, he's the new. New ghost. Those took place, revealing that that ghost was not Slimer, but instead a new gluttonous looking blob known as Muncher. All right, now let's focus in on present day. Now, who are these folks? <laughs> these aren't the Ghostbusters I know. In an official tie in to Ghostbusters Afterlife, the most recent episode of Master Chef Spain showcased an entire segment dedicated to the upcoming film. Featuring an Ecto-1, a backdrop similar to what we saw in the trailer, and our very first up-close shot of my- Here we go, everybody. Here is what we all came to see today. This is Muncher. <laughs> this is Muncher. This is the new ghost. Some, some team of animators spent hours and hours designing and creating Muncher. This is our new celebrity crush. This is Muncher. And, um, I don't know. I guess, let's uh, keep going. Muncher. Just look how absolutely disgusting and adorable he is. Ugh, the absolutely disgusting and adorable. I would, uh, I would, I would agree there. And, uh, somebody saying I'd let him munch, munch on in over here. <laughs> the rolls of slime fat, the extra arms, or are they legs? If the Ghostbusters were to get a new mascot, look at this. Muncher's got all these little, little arm, hand, little appendages climbing up and down. I don't even know what show is this. What's I think Slimer has some stiff competition on? here. Now, if you'd like to check out that segment from Master Chef Spain, we're going to include a link to it right down below in the description. But what oh. I want to know is what do you guys think? What do you think of the overall appearance of Muncher? What Be do sure you to think? let me know right down below in what the comment section. About Muncher? That's all I've got for you here right now. As Let's talk. Huh? Margo thinks it's a weak character design. I don't know. Muncher looks pretty cool to me. Uh, that's just me, though. Muncher looks diabetic, says Seth. <laughs> yeah, we could add a couple more arms, huh? What's in the comments? Yeah, we could take a look what's in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe to See. Ghostbusters News here on YouTube. Bust that bell notification icon to stay up to date hey, bust with that everything bell that's happening within the Ghostbusters world. If you would like to help out Ghostbusters News, we got the Patreon page. A link to that can be found <laughs> right down below in the description. Imagine, Click it, sign up. Imagine if you died and your ghost looked like this. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the comments here. I'll see if I can find some, read, read a good comment. Um, I imagine him with the voice of the caterpillar from A Bug's Life. Okay. Um, wait, there's a Paul Rudd trailer? We finally get a first look at Muncher. Man, you're killing it today with the news. I love Muncher. He looks like a good novice ghost to capture for the new Ghostbusters. I love how he looks and will fit right into the Ghostbusters universe. Okay. Awesome Seth says... I'm pretty grateful for the Ghostbusters news we've been getting lately. It looks a lot like a tardigrade, a nearly invisible microscopic bug. He looks so cute. I just want to grab his cheeks like a little baby. What do we think? Huh? All these comments, they all sound like bots. I think they're all bots purchased by uh, Ghostbusters news. Com. I'm with you. I think he's adorable. I'm gonna be so happy when the movie comes out. It just looks amazing already. Oh, here we go. 
here we go. Tuffy right here says, nothing could replace Slimer. From his movie cameos to his run on the real Ghostbusters cartoon, Slimer equals greatest of all time. Wow, I already, <laughs> I already love Muncher so much. Wow. Oh, Muncher, huh? I don't know, I think I'm warming up to Muncher. People say, it's Slimer too. Muncher looks like he has the face of an elderly man. Let's, uh, let's get that zoom in again. Oh, let me get out of the way here. What do we think? Are we in a triad with Slimer and Muncher now? Hmm. Yeah, okay, you're either pro-Slimer or pro-Muncher. His eyes have lips. <laughs> he does, Muncher does look like he's packing a dump truck. If you ask me, if you ask me. Um, I also wanted to share some more news today with y'all. Uh, we talk about Sabra Hummus a lot. You know, here on, on a horse space for my tribe, we love Sabra Hummus. And uh, we eat Sabra Hummus every day. We feed all the horses Sabra Hummus. And so I just want to let you know, because we're all such big Sabra fans, I do want to let you know that there has been a recall uh, due to salmonella, potential salmonella contamination. Okay, so it's just the classic hummus that we all know and love, right? We all, we all love Sabra hummus. Um, so the Sabra Dipping Company, LLC, I didn't know they were called that. Uh, they've revealed a potential salmonella contamination. So I just want to warm, I want to warm everybody. I want to warn everybody to just be careful, okay? But here's the good news. <clears throat> uh, here's the good news. No other Sabra products are affected by this recall, okay? So there you go. We can keep eating all the Sabra that we like the other Sabra, just don't eat the uh, classic, okay? Okay, so just a little warning for you guys. Let's stay away from the classic hummus, okay? Um, oh, hey, Bobby, what's up? It's been... It's been a little while. Yeah. I'm just reading the comments here. Wow, there is some aggression here today. I don't know what's... What's the deal? Um, we love Sabra. We, we bring it into our yurt, and we eat it, and we drink it. We drink Sabra. I liquefy my Sabra, and I drink it. Uh, I wanted to show you guys some music I've been listening to. Is that okay? Oh. It's been... <laughs> it's not that. It's not that, but I do, I do want to show you some... So it's just some kind of, like, horsey music that I, I've been into. Just wanted, oh, well. I just wanted to uh, show you guys my favorite music. Macadino, 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 Yeah, there was a, uh... <laughs> what a jam, huh? Uh -huh. Do you want to, I kind of want to see that again, is that okay? <laughs> so the idea here on this show is that, uh, uh, the contestants are writing music from the future. Okay. Uh, sorry, my buttons are all messed up today. And so this is this man's idea of what music will sound like in the year 2000. That's what we've come up with. So, Tony Rutt, you now have 30 seconds to give us your music 2000. Good 
Hey, welcome back. Sorry, the, uh, internet out here in the field isn't the best. You know what I mean? We're back. Is everybody back? Oh, we should be back now. We should be good. Sorry. The, uh, my internet connection out here in the field you know, it's not the best. It's not the best. Um, hey, I can't read that. Hey, Renz, thanks for following. <clears throat> Bacadano, 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 Dano, Dano. Trotting around my field yesterday. Look at all these alerts. I think my alerts are fucked up now. I'm just gonna turn that off. When I was uh, trotting around my field, I found this. I was trotting around my field and um, my hoof struck something so I looked I looked down and I saw this videotape and I was thinking maybe we could pop it in and we could watch it uh, oh Steve you have to go okay well Steve thanks for hanging out you know this will be on YouTube or what the fuck ever. Uh, so anyway, I found this. I found this VHS tape. Um, it looks like the uh, Brendan Fraser movie Monkey Bone was taped over, and somebody's written the valve. <clears throat> so uh, you can hear my, you can hear my hoof there. That was my hoof. Kind of sounds like a chair. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I was thinking we could watch it. Do you guys feel like watching it? Uh, just give me a second. I'll just pop it in and we'll watch it, okay? Okay, uh, I'm pu putting it in there, I'm putting it in. If you're watching this tape, if you're watching this, let me, let me start over. If you're watching this, that means you found my videotape. <clears throat> Shit, I keep doing that. It's really hot. My, I have to drink my tea, it's really hot. Uh, anyway. My name is The Valve. I used to be an attorney. I'm a disgraced attorney. Um, I recently got into a lot of legal trouble. And I have, uh, I want to make this video to tell my story. <clears throat> um, I used to be a lawyer before a certain case that I took on for a little, uh, a little blue alien boy. <clears throat> and, um, the case didn't go well. You see, I'm all wet now. Fuck. Um, my case didn't go well at all. 
the little alien boy um, escaped from his detention center, and I was forced to uh, sell cars in Pahrump, Nevada. <clears throat> um, when I realized that I couldn't make enough money selling cars, even with the help of my friends at this uh, at, at this car dealership, um, I turned to the occult, and I turned to alchemy. I've been researching sacred texts at uh, the Las Vegas University of Nevada, and uh, I found myself this laboratory, and I've been uh, working on uh, my magic powers and my alchemical skills. And actually, this uh, this VHS tape is imbued with magical power. Sorry, let me take a sip. Fuck. Um, this v <clears throat> this videotape. Shit, I am just getting all wet. Can you see that? Uh, this videotape itself. Um, if you have any thoughts or you have any comments while you're watching this tape, I will be able to see the comments in my uh, alchemical laboratory, and I will be able to respond to them. Okay? Um, <clears throat> so if you have any thoughts, I'm just going to look over there. Real drinking problem. Well, it's th the tea is so fucking hot. This is actually a Las Vegas mug. You can't see it. But uh, the, my tea is it's like, ooh. See, when I drink my tea, I'm a big drinker. And uh, when I drink my tea, I always want to take a really big gulp, right? Yeah, that's right. I'm live via VHS. Um, so when I take a drink, I want to take a big gulp, but then it's too hot. So it's like this. Fuck. Jesus. I am soaked. Fucking A. Can you see this? Oh, it's just... It's a problem I'm dealing with all the time. Um, so anyway... Yeah, what do you think about my, uh... Laboratory, huh? I love you, the Valve. I don't care how trash everyone says you are. I'm misunderstood. I'm actually just misunderstood. Um, so anyway, uh, welcome to my lab. Okay, it looks like I'm... I'm missing some calls. Let's try calling this number back. See what's up. You guys hear all these drips? Uh, it's not working. Shit. Oh, here we go. Let's see who's calling me. Hey. Hello? Who's this? Hey. Hi. Hey, the valve, man. How did you get this number? How the fuck did you get Dude, this it's number? Dick. It's your di it's your bro, Dick. Dick. Oh, sh sorry. Dick. I still want to know how you got this number. Dude, you gave it to me a couple weeks ago. Okay. I I, I, just, I don't remember I you honestly. You trouble. Yeah, I'm what? In, sorry. Sorry. I'm going through a lot, man. Yeah, I'm going I heard. through a lot. So I heard. Yeah, so I don't know where you are. Everybody's looking for you. Uh-huh. Well, dude, listen. I I'm not ready to come out yet. I'm working on a plan that will make it so the law does not affect me. Does that make sense? Uh, yeah, but, you know, check it out. I got a plan, too. Okay. I guess I'll entertain Good. that. You need, some, you need some cash right now? I need cash fast. I've got the perfect thing. I've been, wor I've been hard at work. I've been hard at work myself okay. in my own lab. It's so funny we both went <laughs> to our lab. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's really funny. I think that's really funny. What ha Go on. All right. You want help or not? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> yes, I do want help. Sorry. I'm really sorry. Is there something funny? Is no. There something no, nothing's funny. Are you... Did you learn anything? 
Yeah. All right. I did. Uh, I'm okay, sorry. I'm really is. sorry. Go ahead. Sorry to cut you off. How many how many thousands of dollars are you in debt right now, Val? 144. All right. I'll tell you what. The si that silence was telling. I just want to say that. The what? The silence there when I said 144,000. Because it's a lot of money. It's a lot, but That's nothing lot. we can't overcome, okay? Okay, okay. yeah, sure. Alright, so I've been hard at work, and I've got the thing just for you, okay? Okay. So I know, I know you can't sell cars. Well, we tried. We've been trying, and it's just no, not you working can't. out. You, you can't. Yeah, I'm not good at it. Thank you. I'm not good at it. And how, mu how much money did you make selling cars? And you, you didn't even do it. You had Thursday Boy and Chopo do it. Wow. You're just coming for me, huh? All right, I'll tell you what. I'll help you. Okay. But you got to be willing to give me, give me your all. Dick, I'm willing to give you my all. Good, you got to come out. Okay. You gotta come out of hiding. Of my lab, you mean? Yeah. Okay. I'll come out, you come out. Okay. We'll meet. And I will uh -huh. give you... I'll give you the secret. Okay. Can you tell me about the I secret? Will pour, or do I will I... pour the secret... I will pour the secret sauce all over you. Okay. I'm not following. Alright, I've got the solution. Yes. Do you want it or not? Do I do, I do. I'm going to give you my all, and I want your secret sauce, and I'm sorry, and I admit that I have a problem. I have it, a lot of problems. It's so good. It makes me so joyous to hear you admit to your issues. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, I'm really sorry. All right, here it is. Are you ready? The solution. Yeah. What is it? <clears throat> Precarious frame. Can you repeat that? You hear that? Precarious frames. Precarious frames. Precarious frames. Posture. Posture. Posture device. Okay. Right. So, are you tired of being strapped down? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm not are following. You tired of being, are you tired of being roped up? Yes. Metaphorically. When you when you are trying to improve your improve your posture, do you want to be do you want to be tied down? Uh, I, I do don't think so. Do I? No, you want to have a nice solution. You want to have a real good solution. I've got the solution for you, Bob. We can sell so many of these. Are you ready? Yes. It's the precarious precarious frame posture enhancement device. Okay, so you're saying the copyright? Fixing my posture will fix my life. No, we're gonna sell the frame. Oh, sorry. Dude, I thought you were talking about my glass. posture. Sorry, I got no, a burp. Well, sorry about that. Dude, we're gonna sell. We're gonna sell so many of these. People are gonna be buying them up because everybody needs to improve their posture, and nothing does it like the okay the precarious frame. Okay. Like well, Dick Spargel's precarious frame. Okay. I'm telling you, man. Hey, that I'm sounds great, Dick. Dude, um, we can give it a shot. Dude. All right. Okay. It's been a pleasure, you know. I'll take okay. you up, take me up on the offer, please. Okay, please, please. yeah. When I come out of here, I, I, you're the first person I'm gonna call, Dick. All right. For your posture device. It, it's called precarious frame. Oh, precarious frame. Yes. Okay. They they're like glass frames, glasses that just fall off your face whenever you move your head down just a little bit. Okay. It keeps your head, keeps your neck straight. Uh huh. Dude. You're, we're gonna sell, you're gonna sell, you're gonna realize you were never a used car salesman, you were a posture a device salesman. A posture salesman. device salesman. Okay, well, I'm, in, I'm interested. I will give you a Good. call, I promise. All right. <clears throat> Thanks. Oh, and by the way, yeah. by the way. Yes, go ahead. Oh, never mind. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. Okay. You text me, okay, dude? Okay, I'll shoot you a message. Okay, Thanks. I have to it's go. It's been so long since I heard from you. Yeah. I wish you told me where you were earlier. Well, Everybody was looking for you. I didn't tell I didn't tell anybody where I went because I'm working on yeah. things. I got projects, you know. All right. It's good to hear you're 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 working. Yeah, I'm working, man. All right. Bless your heart. Bless. Oh, okay. Yeah. At, and remember our friend Ilubatar in the timeless halls? Yes, I do. He's even wearing precarious frames. I got him one. Wow. Okay. So I trust you. That. 
I like trust you. I'm gonna give you a call. Right. I promise. All right. All right. Okay. Thanks, Val. All right. Great talk soon. See you, Dick. I am not going to call Dick Spargel, and I am not going to be sucked into another one of his business schemes. Um, if I didn't say before, I entered this lab laboratory to work on the occult and work on alchemy and work on my magic, and I have come up with a solution that will render me protected from the law forever. And I can't reveal just what that is yet, but I will reveal it soon. I promise, okay? Um, anyway, so I, w I was just gonna watch some funny videos if you guys wanna hang around for a minute and watch some funny videos with me. Does that sound good? Let me, uh, my cave is so damp, it's always dripping. Uh, first, I wanna start us out with a blessing, okay? For success, love, and prosperity. That's what I need, that's what you need. Let's go. This video isn't funny, actually. It's just good. Success is experienced when we have gratitude for the inner and outer accomplishments of our life. It does not matter how much or how little we achieve. If we don't jump for joy about it, we won't feel the emotional mileage. Success happens externally, but can only register internally through self-validation. Even those who have acquired millions but don't celebrate themselves for their accomplishments are in reality poverty-stricken. There are many just, uh, I'm just jamming here a little and bit. And many rich old people. The mark of success is in the soul <clears throat> rather than the bank account. I like that a lot. It is good to acquire as much wealth as you can. It's not about your bank account. with an open heart because true wealth is also in sharing. Richness of the inner and outer realm is our God-given birthright. It is important to feel good about all accomplishments, even the small ones. Maximize the minimum, and the minimum will become the maximum. Maximize the minimum, and the minimum will become when you have the maximum. maximum. Gratitude for your blessings. Life gives you more. When you are low in gratitude, life holds back the greater blessings. When we give to those who are grateful, we love to continue giving. Hell yeah. When we give to those who are ungrateful, we sometimes stop giving. Giving self-credit for accomplishment is equal to loving self. Where there is no self-love, failure prevails. Look at these, uh, success. Look at these crystal dildos down here. Look at these crystal dildos down here. Is in the I am. I'll try blasting. I'm, I don't know if I'll be good at it. Self validation is the salary that you pay yourself for doing your life. It is not kind to work for yourself without pay. Many of us hold ourselves. Receive is that part of me in Look at the power I source on this thing back here. To resent the successful is to resent success itself. No, this is not LTB. Success. Let us jump for joy. I'm not LTB. My name's The Valve. And I used to be a lawyer. And that's I still dress like an attorney. And now I am in my secret alchemical laboratory underground get it right about the blessings of everyone's life and by the grace of god ride the wings of success together sometimes we think of prosperity as my prosperity your prosperity their prosperity etc 
breath, just as there is the oneness of the wholeness of being, there is also one great field of abundance, prosperity at large, the oneness of wholeness of prosperity. Each of us utilizes the resources of this great field of abundance. This, uh, based upon this video is a good 14 minutes long. Maybe we should jump around in a little uh, jump around a little bit. I saw a question about my sandwich that I left at the uh, dealership. Um, I eat a sandwich there every day, all right? I did when I was there, so it's quite possible that I left a sandwich there. And I eat sandwiches down here too because I have to eat a special diet according to my uh, my doctor. Oh, sorry. Ah, it's hot. Shit. Uh, my doctor has me eat a uh, special diet of sandwiches every day. Oh. To, to claim our inheritance, I just we must well, I just want us all to be blessed. Each denomination of money is an access Here, I can, to I can every fix my alchemy table. Of money. Every experience of prosperity, small or great, empowers Oops. every other experience of prosperity so anyway, and is empowered by I just, uh, every other experience. I just wanted of to give you guys a little bit of a uh, prosperity blessing, okay? Uh, and let's get into some some. Uh, I've been doing some research down here on on cryptids as well, and so I want to get a little bit into the. Uh, health benefits and the side effects of Bigfoot meat. If that's okay with you. That I am the only person to have ever eaten Bigfoot flesh. Uh, here's a clip of me eating it. Check that out. I'm sort of what do you think that smells Ill. like? Uh, I gotta step back from this. This is... Uh, um, what the fuck? I honestly, I can't be real close to it because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's putting off like this sort of like gassiness to it. Like, um, uh, not unlike if you were mixing, uh, bleach with ammonia. <laughs> look at him. It doesn't look like that feels good. Oh my God. Now, so I ate it, but it really did, when it was cooking, it put off a very pungent odor, and it made me feel ill, and after I ate it, I got violently ill. I did. <laughs> That's me getting sick. Disgusting. Hear me, Retchen? I was puking my fucking brains out. Hear me, Retchen? My nose filled up with, like, snot. I couldn't barely, barely breathe. It was horrible. Daddy's home. But with that said, 1,126, 1,127. <laughs> That's me getting sick. 1,128, 1,129. The, the man just has birds around his house. I think he does kind of make some puppets or something. Um, cause he has some like, he has some weird stuff around his place all the time, but check out these birds. He's got a, uh, that's me in the corner, barfing up my big foot. <laughs> He's got these crows, I think ravens. Side effects that I've had since I ate the, the Bigfoot flesh. And originally it made me violently ill. But after that, I feel great ever since. I do. You know how I've been walking with a cane for like, you know, like the last year. I've had a bad hip the whole time. The whole time I've had my channel, you can see me limping. I'm not limping and I can run. I'm working out like Still a fiend. 10,000, 10,001, 10,002. I am. 5,000 push ups is nothing. Nothing. 5,000 sit ups, it's nothing. I do it all the time now. <laughs> as far as like, 
Well, I'm going to talk about it because it's I nothing. think that it's important. It's nothing. Before I ate the, the Sasquatch flesh, I was impotent. And I've been impotent for 20 years. I had I had ED. A rec for 20 years. Let's back that up for a second. I think that it's important. Before I ate the, the Sasquatch flesh, I was impotent. And I've been impotent for 20 years. I had I had ED, erectile dysfunction. Wow. I had it so bad, Viagra wouldn't help. Not only that, but I had a I had a problem. This is difficult to talk about. You know, I'm a guy, but it was only about that big. Maybe that's even an exaggeration. <laughs> very small. I was not very well endowed. I love this man. And now. It's 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 like I have to hide it. I have to like wrap it around my stomach almost. It looks like a roll of fat. More like a vodka bottle. It's gigantic. <laughs> and as far as like my ED, my erectile dysfunction, completely gone. Wow. I'm jerking it 15, 20 times a day. Wow. And doing street prostitutes in between. I'd get an expensive oh one like our president likes, but I just don't have the money for that. <laughs> but it's the truth. And yeah, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, if you're jerking it 15 or 20 times a day, you're going to rub it raw. Yeah, but not if you use Neosporin. And if you even do rub it raw, because you're jerking it with Neosporin, you won't get an infection. I recommend it highly. Wow. But I'm completely different. I'm stronger, faster. More stamina, more with the ladies. It's different. It is. And by the way, what am I drinking in this mug? A little bit of the Bigfoot blood mixed with water. <laughs> and I've sort of grown like an immunity to it, it seems. It's not making me sick. It's delicious. It is. I've, I feel <laughs> fucking great. I feel great. I feel like I'm unstoppable now, you know? He's the best. Six months in the hospital, sudden death. Don't fuck with me. I have the power of Bigfoot now. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Up this rumor about me being in contact with the Greys. Oh. You've heard the rumor, right? Well, I can't talk about it. What if? I want to know. I want to Six months in the hospital, sudden death. So there we go. There's a little bit about a little bit of health, health content today. Um, I also uh, been researching the um, the Loveland Frogman of Ohio. Do you guys know about the Frogman? Um, well, I've been looking up lots of photos of the Frogman, and I don't really want to say why but um i did find this video of nor of the sounds of from the frogman um sarah left to make sushi rice what did you miss well i don't know when you left but uh anyway here we go here's the loveland frogman sounds these are the sounds that i want to hear in my dreams <laughs> You hear that? That's just making me think about that frog ass. <clears throat> Dumps like a truck. Truck, truck. Thighs like what? What, what? You hear that? You hear that big grinding noise? It's kind of like... That's the Loveland Frogman moving his giant ass. That sound. I'm, I'm watching videos of the Loveland Frogman and I'm using Neosporin all, all day, all night. sounds of a frog twerking. That's right. 
the clap of his ass cheeks. <laughs> if you eat Bigfoot meat, you can clap frog cheeks 13, 14 times a day. It's not even an issue. It's not even a problem. Um, here's a video I found of some Bigfoot footprints. This is also in Ohio. I know we got some Ohio folks in here when we're talking about the frog man. This is in uh, Salt Fork, Ohio. Uh, I have no idea where that is. I don't know my Ohio very well. Let's check it out. This one is definitely a major crossing through here. They've got a path that goes all the way down back into there and all the way around to that side. So I see these tracks. Look at that. I stop. That right looks real here. to me. This is my the very first print I saw. I was see that? And right beside it, I happened to glance down. I just saw all these prints and this is our honey I've hole. Been seeing yeah, there's deer and rabbit tracks everywhere. Look at all these things. You go all the way up in here. And look, look at you can see. You can see the toes. Look at the size. Look at the size of that my shit. My little boot. Or uh, that, that shit. monster foot. And they go all the way. That's up a big ass foot. Here, and they go back. There's one right there. They go all the way back into there, then all the way down into there. That's a big ass foot. So, we're gonna walk on up here and see if we can't see anything. Oh man, there's tracks. Look at the tracks. Look at this. That is fresh. That is fresh. Sorry, I keep These burping. Are very fresh. Probably a day or less. That was freshly. Here, look. Look at that. Right here, Joe. They got that broken the stick. Fresh break. You see, you can tell the difference. That's that's something. That's I really like in these Bigfoot videos how they always use. Uh, broken sticks and stuff as evidence. What's that about? Can nothing else break a stick? Look at all this snow. Could could the weight of snow not break a little stick? Somebody fill me in. It's been gone for a while. Let's keep on heading down. And they go all the way back through here. And yes, I am 100% alone out here. Yes. There he is. It's just me. There's our man. Wait. Oh, fuck. Here. There we go. There we go. It's just me. <laughs> I'm a honey hole cryptid with a dump truck ass from Ohio. <laughs> that sounds like a um, that sounds like a personals ad that I would reply to with no time to waste. Let me read that again. I'm a honey hole cryptid with a dump truck ass from Ohio. So let's keep following these. I'm gonna try to listen. Yeah, he likes to Wanna snap trees in half. A little bit. I'm all wet. I'm gonna try to listen for, see? Here's you see that? Deer tracks. Soaked. Yeah. That's a big ass foot. So this is definitely hey, some thanks, sort of Brian. game trail through here. Thanks for being here. All right, guys, I've been walking. About 45 minutes following these. And down in there, there was a huge crash. <laughs> I don't know if it was a deer. I have a drinking problem. But I have a feeling it was this old boy. See, this is the problem. My name's The Valve, and that's because I drip. And, uh, you know, maybe I just don't have the right tools to tighten up my drip. Maybe I just don't have the right tools, but that's why they call me the valve, because I be dripping. Right down and do you know what IBS stands for? It stands for, I be shitting. I'm shaking so bad I can't can hardly keep the camera still. Right. Oh, you hear that? You hear it? Is he saying that's a Bigfoot? <laughs> okay, here's our here's our uh, misconnections. In search of a honey honey hole cryptid, I'm a light language speaking biblically biblically accurate angel that is just two doors down from your friends all along. <laughs> I love it. Try to zoom it in a little bit. Maybe it's a frog, man. Okay, 
can see something moving here. It's, oh man, he's there. I love Crunchwrap Supremes. They fuck me up though, but I love them. I should really quit for my own health. What is this? This is creepy out here by myself. <laughs> Probably. That's what I would say if I was out somewhere by myself. I'd say, this is creepy out here by myself. <laughs> you ever talk to yourself when something's creepy and you just say, this is creepy, 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 creepy. This is creepy out here by myself. We're three miles away from my trap. This is creepy out, out here. Out in the middle of Salt Florida. By myself. Want to become famous by followers, primes, and viewers? Sure. I'm just gonna keep walking a little bit. I'm all by myself. Another break in the tree. Thing. Here, let me show you with my camera that I'm all by myself. Let me say that I'm all by myself. Oh, we got some spammers in here. Man, I'm getting stuck. This thing had to be. I need a fucking you know, huge mod. To come plumbing in through there. Snap that, snap those. That's old. Look how old that is. Okay. That's not a fresh break. I'm all by Those myself. Fresh. Look how old this little, is. Man, that's, that one's still attached to the tree, so he must have been getting it through here, so. He's getting Let's it. Keep walking. Look at that Look at shit. That. That's, that's a big ass foot, man. Perfect. Some beer. It sounds like he's doing a little invitation. Invitation to the Sasquatch and the Frogman. I'm all by myself. Deer tracks. It's just me. Foot tracks. It's just me. I'm all by myself. I want you guys to see how I'm walking. See how I'm walking off to the side. Yeah, I see I'm that. Trying not to disturb these because I want to see if there's a way I could come back and possibly preserve this without without ruining the print and the smell. I don't know if plaster will mess him up. Looks like he slipped a little bit right there. I don't know why. Hey, frog man. Yeah, I'm trying to walk off the side I'm of all him. by myself I out here. Any of them up. Please don't bring your dump truck ass out, out here. Looks like a deer. May have slid there. Print. Print. And it goes right up over this log. This is insane. Just go. This was just a single track. There's a deer. See, these are all definitely. <laughs> yeah, deer. this kind of looks like a piss foot, which is another cryptid. Uh, the Ohio piss foot. They're pretty wide open, believe it or not. So they must be traveled pretty often. I might have to spend the night out here. Just me. Of these nights. But these, I'd say these are definitely fresh. It's just me all by myself out here. Frog man, piss foot. It's just me. It's, it's just me. There. It's down in there somewhere. Little old me. I won't keep walking. I want to try to find, find something. At least try to catch a glimpse of it. I think maybe this man is piss foot. So I'm going to let my camera run. I've got plenty of batteries with me. Hey. Okay, I'm keep going. This video, I don't know if there's anything else too exciting. Which way to go? But I do like to see these big prints in the snow. Because now it's it's all. It looks pretty cool. Kind of blocked up. Usually in these videos, it's really hard to tell when you see them in the mud or something, or if you see like pictures of the casts or videos of the casts. It's kind of hard to see like it's just, it's all the toes. Look at all that mess. But I love to see toes. You have no idea. I would love to see feet. Which way to go? <laughs> well, I'm going to pick a path. It's going to be dark here. There's so many. About two hours. This is just a mess of footprints here. Okay. I think I've had enough of this man. Weird chirp. Let me see what else. What else have we got? Yeah. Uh, well, you hear those drips? It always sounds like that here. It always sounds like that. The man, the legend, the piss foot. Oh, 
So I want to uh, talk about Goatman. Have you ever heard of Goatman? It's another cryptid. Um, apparently, Goatman lives in Maryland. And I uh, was doing a little research down here on Goatman. Does the valve have the same foot fetish as LTB? Let me say one thing. Everybody I hire at the dealership, it's a prerequisite that you have a foot fetish, okay? It's just the way it is. I don't make the rules. Let's check out Goatman. This is sick already. Sheen, did you ever hear of Goatman? Hey, respect the feet. Respect feet. Hey, I just want to say to everybody here, fucking just respect feet. Respect everybody's feet. Respect your feet. Hold space for my According feet. to legend, the goat man is a half goat, half man creature. Legend has it that the goat man attacks cars with an axe and roams the back roads He's got a of weapon. Beltsville, Maryland. A variation of the legend tells of the goat man as an old hermit that lives in the woods near Fletchertown Road. Many of the goat man sightings. Yeah, I love pants and uh I also love feet. Occur in Louisiana, Maryland, and Texas. The Goatman legends began a long time ago and were further popularized in 1971. Yeah. When the, the death of a dog. The Goatman had a fucking axe. You never hear of Bigfoot or, you know, well, Frogman has the uh, Hitachi wand, right? But Goatman has a fucking axe. Was blamed on the Goatman by a local resident. But the stories always seem Look at this. Around kept alive by bored teenagers. Oh my god. Repeating the same stories over and over again. Look at this shit. Just... This is why I picked this video. Look at these 3D goat men. Look at this shit. Just Amazing. That the creature attacks couples frequently near Fletchertown Road. The night before Halloween, three friends enter a corn maze late around midnight. The maze was obviously built for Halloween, but it was connected to a cornfield on someone's private property. They found the corn maze more challenging oh. than anticipated. After about 10 to 15 minutes, they reached the far end of the maze, where the private cornfield starts. Graham suggests that they go into the actual cornfield. They were close to the road. Yeah, they could hear buff. cars drive by occasionally. They could see a house just past the corn. A faint light in one of the windows turns on. They made sure to keep quiet. <laughs> one of them thinks they hear something. I love this. Hey, Callum. That's been a common mis misconception today. Um, what you're watching right now is a VHS tape of me, disgraced lawyer, the valve. I'm talking directly to you, Callum. Uh, this is a magical VHS tape that I have set up uh, with time technology, time magic technology. As you're watching this video, I can see your comments and I can respond to them. But this is a VHS recorded in the past and I am the valve. After about 20 seconds of standing <clears> still, <throat> Trying not to even make breathing sounds. Shh. The CGI is so good. They don't hear anything. They think that it's nothing. They walk a little further, and they hear footsteps in one of the other cornrows. Shit. This time, they all hear the sound and think that it's one of the farmers. They decide to head back to the Halloween design corn maze. As they are walking, they can hear something behind them. 
This is, yeah. This is like a cutscene, yeah, on PlayStation. Graham tells him to pick up the pace. <laughs> he drops his flashlight. <laughs> he tells the others to continue. He stops for only four seconds to see if he can hear the footsteps following. <laughs> it sounds yeah. like somebody's running. It, look at that shit. Yeah, this looks like uh, Resident Evil 2. Steps following. Look at that. He's buff, man. It sounds like somebody's running. He runs back to catch up with the others. Let's be Goatman for Halloween, huh? When all three are together, they stay still, trying not to make noise. They hear something walking towards them. Fuck. And look down to see hooves on the other side of the corn. Oh shit. <laughs> they stay still, hoping that the Alexa says, I kinda wanna Sorry, that didn't work. I kinda wanna fuck him. I wanna kiss goat man. No, you know what? No. I love Muncher, I love Slimer, and I love uh Frogman. I don't wanna fuck goat man. Sorry. This thing will pass. This goat creature sniffs the air <laughs> and then slowly walks off. Corn goat imagery. They can't see or hear this goat creature. I would play this video game quickly, though. quickly get out of the maze and back to the car. In their rush, they run into some corn, causing more noise and attracting the attention of this goat man. Who runs after them? Hell yeah. <laughs> they reach the parking lot and click. I draw the line at. I draw the line at goat men. Yeah. Okay. Fuck Mary. Kill. Uh, goat man, frog man, or what should number three be? Slimer or or another cryptid? Bigfoot? I probably am gonna say I want to marry frog man because I want that frog ass in my life forever. And I'm gonna say kill goat man. I'm not into goat man. And I'll say fuck Sasquatch. Because according to Peter Kane, Sasquatch gives a good knobber. Quickly get into their car. I'll, I'll let you guys sort it out in the comments there. To the right, they can see that goat man standing at the entrance. Ooh. They quickly speed out of there. Fuck Frogman, marry Goatman, or sorry, fuck Frogman, kill Goatman, and marry Slimer, because he's fun to party with. Yeah, I agree. I want nothing to do with the Goatman. I alone understand his danger and the fact that he cannot be killed. Marry Mothman. We got some hot takes here today. This is awesome. Look at that car pulling away. Although the idea of a goat man sounds far-fetched, others insist that they saw something real, and goats do tend to have a mean streak. Yes, they do. Photos of the creature are scarce. This is why we need the to kill The most famous him. photo was taken in 1969. Back then it was called the Lake Worth Monster. <laughs> I thought the, fo the photo was going to fade in, and then it was this. <laughs> but it would soon take the name of goat man as the word spread. I do have a Goatman photo. Other parts though. of the United States that have had Goatman sightings are mainly in the East. One of the most famous encounters is the Popelik monster, named Pope after Lick. the Popelik Creek, for that which the creature fun. is said to live underneath the railroad bridge. Bridges and cornfields are hot spots for Goatman. Wow. Oh, amazing. Let me find this, uh, let me find this photo I got for you all, for you all. Okay, here's a photo of, uh, here's a photo of Goatman. Alright, I just searched Goatman photo, let me zoom in here. 
I just searched Goatman photo and this is what I got. And I gotta say, I'm pretty convinced. I mean, you know, it looks like this is from a trail cam. 87 degrees Fahrenheit. Everybody knows that's the uh, optimum ten temperature for a goat man. Um, I got a couple more goat man videos that are kind of funny. I'm sorry if the drip is annoying here in my lab, but uh, it's drippy down here. Okay, this is called uh, Legend of the Goat Man Horrifying Monsters, Cryptids, and Ghost 2013 Movie. It's about two minutes long, so it's not really a movie. It's, maybe it's a trailer. Yeah, I could catch Dripfoot down here, Jez. Jenny says he was pooping. He's, he's muscular either way, right? Which is kind of what I like about Frogman. I like that Frogman isn't really that muscular, but just has a really great butt. I kind of like that. Now, I know what people think. But I'm not crazy. I swear I saw Goat Man. My girlfriend and I were up at this place, I guess you'd call it Lover's Lane, one night. And we just had gone up there to get some privacy. <laughs> anyway, so we were up there and there was another car parked <laughs> up there that night. And anyway. And sort of involved, if you know what I mean. So everything was quiet for a while. But then something catches my attention out of the corner of my eye. It's dark at this point, but there is a full moon, so it's not pitch black yet. And I look. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was this tall guy, really weird looking, hunched over, something just wasn't right about him, and I thought, goat man, and I know, sounds crazy, but that's what I thought, <laughs> and he had something heavy in his hand, and you know, legend says that goat man carries an axe, so anyways, he's walking towards this other car, and they're sort of occupied, and <laughs> we're sort of occupied, and uh, you know, uh, uh, thought I'd take it upon myself to honk the horn, and wait, I want to read this. Hold space for my tribe. Your name is appropriate. Just supporting the vibe and leave it open. Yet you also provide a bit of jibe for us to riff on. This is the perfect surface. I can roll a spliff on. You know that I love rhyming. And that was a great rhyme. And thank you, Gnome. I really like that. right? So I do Sorry, I just have to pause it. We all know we all know how you can rhyme, right? Like how how you get good at rhyming, right? Fuck. Um, sorry. We all know how you get good at rhyming, right? Hold that seed. Myself to honk the horn and warn them, right? So I do that. I'm honking the horn, and they turn on their car and turn on their lights. Fuck. And this car just bolts out of there, right? And then this guy turns his attention to us, and he starts walking towards the truck, right? <laughs> My girlfriend's screaming. I'm trying to turn over the truck, and nothing's happening. I'm turning it over. Nothing's happening. My girlfriend's freaking out, and I'm starting to freak out. Wait, I gotta keep reading these rhymes. Hold space for my tribe. I didn't know much about you till now. I would tell you how I found you, but I'd rather just be around you. This is really nice. I like this. Just in the nick of time, the truck starts, and I slam it into drive and just peel out of there. Just as I'm pulling away, the creature takes a swing at my car. And I don't know, but Look at this. all I do know is... This dent wasn't in my truck. Wait, I don't know, but all I do know is... And I don't know, but all I do know is... This dent wasn't in my truck before that night. Damn. Uh, it seems that, from what I've learned, uh, people have been talking about the Goat Man for well over 50 years. Uh, just recently, I have people started talking, getting back into the legend, back into the historical events of what's happened with the Goat Man in Maryland. It seems like the Goat Man is attracted to areas that are wooded, uh, also places such as Lover's Lanes where oh. teenagers go to. So see, and then it just fades out, which makes me think it's like part of a bigger film or something. Hey, I don't know, but what I do know is... I don't know, man. Hey, yeah. I crashed my truck, Mom and Dad, but um, it was actually the Goat Man, and I was actually having sex. You know, if you know, I was having sex, if you know what I mean. Here's another video. <clears throat> this is called, um, okay. Man, I can't read the whole comments here. I wish I could. Can I make it bigger? No. Fuck. I mean, I could show you, but I don't think I could tell you. Let's, fuck, man. Simplify so that I can summarize. No need to revise when you hold space for my tribe. 
I'm going to go through the chat and I'm going to find all of Gnome's rhymes and I'm going to copy and paste them and save them and post them. Um, so anyway, here are, you can see unexplained, unexplained pictures taken at the Goatman's Bridge. So here, if you didn't believe before, here are some photos from the Goatman's Bridge. See this? It's completely unexplained. What's that? Hmm? Hmm? Tell me. Hey, thanks, Gnome. You rule. time with this TV today. <laughs> here's here's an unexplained photo. Sorry, I think I uh, we didn't get to see a lot of that. My bad. Okay, so they're circling in here. Unexplained. Yeah, I'm wet. See this? I'm wet. <laughs> so those were some cool pictures, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God. Well, okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I found some cool, um, some cool new light language for us, and then, uh, and then we'll close out with a little, maybe a little Joe Rogan, huh? Yeah, I need a bib. See this? I need a bib. I'm wet as shit. I just have a, such a hard time. My. Yeah, my tea is just so hot. So I take a big drink like this. And then it all comes out because... Oh, shit. It all comes out because it's so hot and I'm never ready. Okay, so sorry. Okay, I wanted to show you this. Um, this is called Channel Light Language. You know, I love light language. Yeah. Asna. Asna. There's some cool parts here. I love the horn. I love that trumpet. One song, pi pa ye ta, lucky shir 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 shar si sha, ni 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 nari da, li 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 li. Let us have it, man. Let us have it. Uh. <laughs> Sa 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 vi 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 sha wardlu wardlu arkinu birni hilu hilu asia 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 more. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. This is a long video. I just kind of want to jump around and see if we catch anything cool, you know? Uh, kind of. Ti 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 onam pa po po ti ti ti.
Spitting here. Yeah, is this a real language or is it light language? It's called channel light language. <laughs> this rules. I'm out. What's up, everybody? You make it in, you make it in, you make it in again. Yeah, you make hey, Lewis, I'm going to sample this, okay? We know what we're talking, we know what I'm talking about. I'm going to sample this. Make it in, you make it in, you make it in again. Hey, whoa. La coo, coo, coo. I unironically think this is pretty cool. You know how like the band Sigur Ross made up their own language? Well, we could all make up our own language and rap and do whatever we want. I love this. Let's go, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. I hear you. I'll take a day in this day of time. Yes. Yes. Did it, did Cleanse your throat chakra. Cleanse your throat chakra. Yes. Just looking up a Wikipedia article here. Dun, 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 dun. Please give us some light language. Yeah. Oh. I mean, this is cool. I like this.
Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia. Mamma mia, mamma so there's, there's that. What'd you guys think? What'd you guys think? Um, um, uh, uh, you know, what do you guys think about videos? What do you, hey, what do you think about videos? I just show the worst videos I can find and people show up and watch them on my VHS. Hey, check this out. <laughs> I can't get enough of videos, man. Wee. Wee. I kind of want to see that again. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Put your hands up. Get ready. <laughs> okay. I think I almost knocked down my green screen. Leaning back like that. Okay. I want to show a video to close out this stream. I'll post all the links up, okay? Uh, to close out the stream, I want to watch a video from a very talented animator that I really like. Um, this is a Joe Rogan. Yes, please send, yeah, please send. If you send videos in the Discord, um, Little Thursday Boy will send them to me, okay? I was not missing a hand. No, I wasn't. Uh, Joe Rogan of uh, uh, Fear Factor. Check this out. Isn't carbon dioxide responsible for an increase in the temperature of the Earth? That's all media hype. But let me just tell you. Oh, Jesus. Joe, 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 I swear to God. I swear to God I can prove all this to you. This is so huge for your audience. Wait, what are trees made out of? Um, tree stuff? Carbon. Yeah, but carbon-based life forms. <laughs> let me tell you this right now. We're in contact with aliens. And they tell us the whole plan. Now, where are you getting this from that you're stating it so confidently? I've seen everything. Scientists have proven your brain is working in the fourth, fifth, sixth dimension. And if you can work into those dimensions, you can see beyond it. So, so what I'm trying to tell you is this. I know you already know all this, Joe. <coughs> but for your audience, here's what's happening. Dogs are very psychic. They're psychic buffers. I never saw that. Can you can you see if you can find that, Jamie? That seems like... This is what the show is like. We have, you have to be real careful in how you describe these things. In they have called hours. in the European <laughs> Union for the arrest of scientists that question okay. psychic vampires stealing the energy from the kids. Whoa. Sandy Hook is a synthetic, completely fake, with actors, in my view, manufactured. The best way to counter correct speech is wrong speech. You're trying to take my freedoms and lock my ass. Here's the, the scariest thing is that these are all real lines from both of their shows. That's utterly frightening. Ass up to quote Emperor Palpatine, no, 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 you will die. Orwell talked yeah. about this in 1984. He was like, if you ban all the words, if all you, you will, you will literally you can't have all the i forget orwell's words on uh you can't have an echo chamber the echo chambers are dangerous i totally agree right. here's the thing <laughs> even if people are wrong about many things it doesn't mean you can't be their friend what's important is whoever that person is they got to be sincere now as soon as you feel like someone's a grifter, you've got to cast them out. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthroplex is the newest edition at InfoWarsLife.com. The patented nano silver we have, this stuff kills the whole SARS corona family at point blank range. We have developed an ultimate male vitality <laughs> supplement with eight concentrated super herbs. DNA force, ladies and gentlemen.
X3. Now available at InfoWarsLive.com. Alpha Brain. It's 100% <laughs> legit. If I go to a UFC and I don't have Alpha Brain, I panic. It has got all the bone broth and so much more. This is why the ancients, they believe, were had such better bones and so much healthier. You look it up. You could freeze this, and this would be better than, like, Blue Bell chocolate ice cream. Mm. <laughs> I love this. Anyways. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, my friends. Um, that's all the valve has for you today. We turn up my drip. This is what happens when you do the keto diet. Yeah, I'd, I could have an echo chamber. Hold on. How about, how about, how about this? this? I'm in my, I'm lab. In my lab. Hello? Hello? Is anybody, is anybody up, down, down here? here? Frogman? Frogman? Frog it's just it's me. Just me. I'm all alone. Hey, 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 I will be untouchable by the, the law. Not quite yet. Next week, I will reveal what I have done to outrun the law forever. My plan will be revealed next week, next Thursday. Thank you for watching this VHS tape. If you want to watch a little bit more of this VHS tape, go to <laughs> patreon.com slash holdspace for my tribe. Okay? I I am the valve. I'm a I'm a disgraced scummy attorney. So I'm just gonna say it. You want more? Go to patreon.com slash holdspace for my tribe. I'm gonna do the Patreon patron stream. Uh in a few minutes okay and I this wet shirt is now getting kind of cold so maybe I will fix that or maybe I won't maybe I'll just sit in my own mud and sit in my own moisture for everybody okay hey I'm gonna toss you back to a uh, little thoroughbred boy and uh, and thanks for hanging out with me okay Bye. Bye bye. Wow. How was that? What a strange, strange VHS tape. <clears throat> and uh, how weird was it that the valve could interact with us as we spoke? That was really weird. I've never seen a VHS tape like that before. Um, just bizarre. Things are bizarre lately here uh, around on the field. Okay, wow, what a trip. Um, like the Valve said, if you want to see a little bit more, I think you know what to do. Little patrons. That was really weird. Um, I found it under my hoof. Look at this. Wow. Yeah, I stepped on the tape in the field. Fucking weird. Okay, I'm gonna try to do uh, one last horse blaster for you, And then... <laughs> uh, see you on the Patreon stream, huh? <laughs>